Hi everyone, this is going to be a two part tutorial. The first part I'm just going to go over the rigs that I made for the short film geometry exercise, the ball and the cube. The second part is going to be a tutorial about how I rigged them technically. So if you're interested in the technical part, stay tuned for the second part. If not, you can just watch the first one. Uh, I hope you watched all the videos before that so you know what it's about. Uh, if you didn't, you're welcome to check them out. Um, I covered how I made the animatic and the storyboard and writing the story. So if you don't know what it's about, uh, the two main characters are a cube and a ball, as you can see in the storyboard here on the right. And I knew when I built the models and rigged them that they're going to be squashy and stretchy. I wanted them to be able to be, I wanted them to be flexible so they can do all these motions that you see here in the storyboard. The ball is going to be bouncing a lot. The cube itself is very, very flexible, kind of like a rubber cube. So that was my main goal. Um, other than that, they're very, very simple geometries. They're simply a sphere and a cube. Now for the cube, I did add a few more uh, divisions to make it more, you know, high resolution. But it's still basically just a cube I created and added some uh, edge loops. The ball itself, uh, I originally created one myself uh, just using a sphere and then tried to rig it, but then I found on creativecrash.com that they already have a squash and stretch ball rig. So I just downloaded that. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, so you can see what the ball does is very, very simple squash and stretch. I could have rigged that myself, but the ball is already out there and it would be exactly the same if I did it. Um, I did add something to it. I added another control here for rotation so I can rotate it within the rig itself without having to rotate the entire uh, ball because then I get another pivot point for my rotation. It helps for secondary action and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing really more to say about this ball. He can jump, squash, stretch. It's pretty cool. Now, for the cube, it was a little more complicated. I did use the same methods of rigging the ball to the cube, but it had some extra steps, and I'm going to show that in the second part of the video, which is the technical side of how I build the rigs. So this is how the finish rig works. Um, kind of like the cube. Squash and stretch. You can move it around. Uh, it's, it's very expressive, I think. Like, you can get these kind of uh, emotions you know as far as uh, as far as a cube I think that's pretty expressive and the bottom control does the same it's kinda nice and there's even controls for the corners so if I want to do like something specific like if the cube just wanted to reach somewhere I don't know I can do that and then add more motion with the main controller so that's pretty flexible, I think. I might work on it and make it, you know, fine tune it a little bit, a little bit more later. But it's definitely good enough for me to move on to the previous stage, in which I'll animate each shot separately. Um, basic animation, just to get the the you know the flow going. And I think during previs, I usually find a lot of uh, things I'm going to have to add to the rig. Things I haven't thought about, like I need this guy to do something very specific. Maybe I'll add a blend shape for that. So you learn a lot during previs. But for now, these are the two models that I'm going to use. So in the second part of this video, uh, you don't have to watch it if you're not interested in the technical stuff. I'll explain how exactly I rigged this cube. Um, with expressions and measurement tools and all of kind of like complicated rigging stuff. So if you're interested, keep watching. Yeah. 